you're moving one million cases uh, from four different facilities into one over a weekend. And then that weekend, we had to get this whole warehouse set up to deliver our first case on August 20th. The goal was to make sure that all of our sales people didn't see any disruption. There was basically uh, taking down the pyramids of Egypt and rebuilding in a weekend. Everything we had heard about other buildings, other distributors going live with the warehouse, we were sort of bracing for uh, what other companies have gone through, which is you know close to disaster. Certainly, uh, it took months of planning and preparation. Getting all the product over here is one thing, but then having it checked in, uh, processed the right way, and put away into our, our warehouse so we could load that night, um, the, the 20th of August, that's been pretty much unheard of in the industry. You know, it was a Herculean effort. There was a lot of work involved. That's a lot of work. I mean, no one's really done this before, myself included. It was new to everybody. We wanted to, we wanted to ride. It was a challenge, and it was more of a challenge than we had anticipated. Nobody really knew what to expect when we got here. You know, ideally, I got in my car and I drove here, and I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be great. It's a new facility. Literally picked up three separate warehouses and brought it into one. Most men were working quite a bit extra, you know, as, long as, the, you know, as well as the supervisors. It, it was a lot of hours. They had to put in extra. They were working seven days a week at that point, probably, for the first few weeks, because we knew the importance of it. We had to succeed, and we had to ship, and we had to make it, you know, that our customers would not know there was any difference that Works Beverage was still shipping as normal. Vending machines were all empty. I mean, people, they, they just looked beat. People were shot. Guys were walking around like zombies. Everybody, you know, pitched in. Uh, along with probably a pallet of Red Bull. I think what you saw is when we didn't have everything coming together the way we would have liked it, the guys pushed the game up even higher. I had guys that didn't know they could do what they were doing, and they just kept going. No one slowed down, they just drove themselves, pushed themselves. Every hour that went by, every day that went by, everything got a little bit more organized. There was nights that uh, I can tell you that nobody went home and people stayed here, uh, worked through the night, then did their day job and then came out to help support the warehouse at night. One of the best things was, you know, Art was here, you know, almost the whole time. Mike Brown, you know, Rocky, obviously. They were, they were, they were here almost the whole time that we were always here. There was very few hours that we were not all here. I don't know if the employees uh, liked Rocky, Ruane, and, and myself uh, out on the floor. It was good though. I mean, they were one of us, you know what I mean? Everyone's trying to get their hands dirty and do something to help. You know, to see them helping out, it felt good. You know, everybody's trying to do what they got to do to participate, to get things done, so it feels good to see everybody helping out. always a confidence level that we had the right team in place, that if there was an issue with the technology, that we'd have the right team to support it. Whatever anybody needed was asked to do, they would do, no questions asked. It was a great team effort. The challenge was met by a lot of commitment and hard work from our whole warehouse and operations and employee base. We never missed a shipping day. We, we got everything here within you know a matter of weeks. Um, and basically within, I would say, two weeks, we were pretty much operating as a normal warehouse at that point within the first few weeks, which is pretty, uh, pretty amazing, actually, under what we ended so. It was a great feeling you know, to, to take a million cases, move it in four days, deliver on a Tuesday, and really our customers see no interruption of service. It was phenomenal. To see it start from the scratch where this place we're standing right now was just dirt and mud and a bunch of holes uh, to now where we have 650,000 square feet under one roof, everybody working under it, it's very exciting. When you walk into this place, it's night and day from where we were. It's bright, it's clean, it's huge. Just coming to work in a, in a place like this and they have a real good sense of pride you know, coming to work every day. We're going to be able to do, increase our customer service to our um, Peoria operation, our Rockford operation, and our Belleville operation because of this warehouse. Not only do we invest in a beautiful building with great equipment, but we have the best team in place to actually make this building deliver on what we hope for. It's a huge sense of, of pride. It really is. Not only um, 
for the operations team, but for the entire organization. When everybody galvanizes together like that, I look at my team and we have the right people in the right places. In this warehouse, that's always been that way. The guys really want to do it right and, and do a good job. So, yes, very proud of what they did. I mean, um, as I told them many times, you know, I, I thought they did a heck of a job. It was a lot of work and a lot of things, and, and they succeeded. Looking back now, I've got such a sense of pride for what we've done. It makes you feel good about yourself. I mean, everybody, we're a team, so everybody works together, gets the job done, and I help you, you help me, and just one big team. I'm very proud of each one and every one of them. They, they put in tons of hours, tens of time. Yes, they were paid, but there was times that guys were dead tired and putting in the time. Just working the hours they did and pushing themselves and moving as much pride as they did shows they wanted this building to become the best building in the country. I think we're well on our way. They are in many ways the lifeblood of the customer satisfaction component of our business. Uh, we have to deliver and delight our customers every single day. And uh, it's oftentimes overlooked. And uh, let's clearly state that this is the thing that keeps us in business. I mean, the biggest thing I can say to everybody who is involved is thank you. At the end of the day, this is a family company, and everybody in that company is part of the family. I'm proud of the team to get the thing done, and I'm also proud of and, and thankful that you're on our team.